In today's installation of Stupid Games Win Stupid Prizes, we've got yet another shrimpy looking type person who does the same thing as the last person. They decided that touching another person's hat was a good idea for the good old stream, cause why not? Am I right? But no. Uh, enough of the callback to last video, because what I want to talk about here is yet another streamer who this time goes by Sneeko. Oh no, not that red pill f fight. Whoa, 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 Gerald. What? Am I wrong? I mean, no, but are you really trying to get this video immediately age-restricted? Apologies. I mean, you don't need to apologize, because you're not entirely wrong about him, because he's always going from one red pill thing to the next with the switch of a flip, but at least just watch your language next time. Meh. <laughs> That's not really the confirmation I wanted, but uh, okay, I guess. Uh, anywho, uh, sorry about that. It <laughs> looks like you just peered into a family dispute when you just came here to watch Sneeko get Superman punched. But, uh, yeah, let us watch that clip, why don't we? Did you have to say f Schlate? That's what he is. Ugh, whatever. Sneeko, Kako, got himself into a little situation with a man. You know, straight shit. Busted up to smile for me, man. <laughs> this was the security guard at F at this thing at this event right up here, right up here. We got yeah. this guy jumped off the stage. No one attacked this guy. Punched Nico in touched in the face. Him. No one touched him. Yeah. He jumped off the stage, hit Nico in the There's face. I watched the whole thing happen. This was just right now. Just now. Just the guy that uh, he shut off the speech to go play his music, he just uh, just got rocked in the face. But I'm a nonviolent person. You know, I care about America first. That's what it's all about. Yeah, man. We'll take it through the legal necessary ways we got to do because honestly, it's probably press charges. Now. As you all just saw, Sneeko decided to go to a club and then, I'm guessing, his crew started some stuff that either was with the security or they just did stuff that got the security involved. And then it appears to have escalated into insulting the security. To which the security just did it back to them. Right you are, Gerald. But then, while the guard was emoting on them for being dunces, Sneeko decided that trying to make him look like a fool by hitting the guard's hat off was somehow a good idea. To which... Then the flashlight got a dose of medicine. <sighs> yeah, yeah, he got his he got his medicine, of course. I'm about to fix you some medicine for yourself if you don't stop using a freaking word. What was that? Oh, nothing. Uh, just, just a soliloquy. Okay. Anywho, uh, where was I? Uh, oh yes. Uh, after hitting the guard's hat off, Sneeko then got the crowd pleasers manhandling that he deserved with a smashing Superman punch, which knocked out some teeth. And then. The ever-so-fight-willing person like Sneeko then thought about starting a lawsuit. You know, the same dude who calls out a fight but never actually goes through with it. Like I said, he's a- Don't you fridging dare use that word again! Calm down, dude. I was just gonna say that he's spineless. Okay. Like a f light getting manhandled when the world just wants to see a punching bag get punched. Ugh. I wish you would just stop saying that word. Okay, I promise to change. Promise? Yes. All right. But, uh, uh yeah, Sneeko likes calling out fights, and his most impactful one being against Charlie with their whole watch my clips fiasco. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You wanna, wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you are? Now the reason he keeps saying watch my clips while threatening me here is because during the stream I couldn't watch him live because he just kept shouting slurs. So I said watch my clips to see what I was saying about you. I had to communicate via Twitch clips. 
And I'm sorry to be that guy, this is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. And then Charlie hit him with the then pull up bitch. It is honestly just a classic, but I mean, this is really just the same messaging as last video. Don't touch other people's stuff if you don't want to get hit. It is that simple. But I want more content like this. It's fun. Well, sure, but that is why this planet has the common jesters in life, like Sneeko, cause they're just there to be laughing stocks for the whole world. The problem then, though, comes from how a lot of the red pill type people shtick is to teach young men. And if Sneeko is having young and impressionable children or teens watching him, then that is just a disastrous future that we are walking towards. As I've said, discipline is just as important as loving a child, and I am glad that Sneeko got his rocker knocked, cause if the world isn't gonna discipline him like the child he is, then what is the younger generation learning from the older generation? That shameful behavior is okay? No. No, 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 no. That is not the world we want to grow up in, where shameful behavior isn't disciplined. It's like we're going back to the Wild West with cowboys running the West. And let's just say with having a faster reload than a revolver, that is not a future I want to go through. I do. Being able to blast those who I disagree with sounds awesome. Someone says something stupid and I just stick their useless brain to a wall with a loud splat. Okay, uh, don't worry guys, Gerald really doesn't mean that. Ugh. Oh, I do mean that every time I see a stupid person like the flashlights. That is enough. Oh, gotta you? run.